Now, do you remember anything occurring the next day on Wednesday? Yes. Do you remember going to lunch with your brother as he testified? Yes. And what was the topic of conversation at that lunch? How I was going to live with him. And uh, he, either he, was, he decided that either I was going to go to Princeton with him or he was going to come and live with me at UCLA. And, uh, and he, seemed, he seemed excited about that. Um, was that a prospect that you relished as well? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that would be great. Uh, although I was trying to tell him that he shouldn't be so optimistic. But did you, at, on that occasion, tell him um, about your father's threats or his violence or any of that? No, I didn't. Again, I didn't tell him about it uh, at all. What, were you, what did you think might happen, if anything, if you actually had told your brother at that point the specifics about how violent your father had been? I didn't know, but I was worried about him getting scared off or him just not talking to dad at all and leaving me there with him and that's what my biggest fear was and I I, I did the wrong thing I just told him uh, none of it now was there also <clears throat> during that lunch uh, did your brother mention to you um, anything about a talk that he had had with your mother earlier that day yeah what uh, what did he tell you he said that he talked to, to mom and told her that uh, he wanted to talk to dad when dad got home about me. Okay, and, uh, now did you respond to that? Yeah. What did you say? I, I said you didn't tell him about what I told you. You didn't tell who? Mom. Okay. I, I was asking Lyle if he told mom about what I told to him that happened between dad and I. And, 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 and did he respond? Yeah, he said no. I was real worried about that. Um, but he told you he hadn't told her. Yeah, he told me he had not told her. Now your worry, if he had told mom, was what? What were you what What were you afraid of? If he had told mom, what What were you worried about? I don't know. I, I I'm not really quite sure. I just was. Uh, I, I wanted I wanted Lyle to talk to dad, but I was really afraid of it too, and. It just seemed like if he told mom that, then the talk would have to happen. And in a sense, I didn't why, want it. Why would the talk have to happen if he told your mother? Because if he told mom, I would have done the one thing that he always told me never, ever to do. And I just was worried about doing that. Mr. Menendez, if your brother had told your mother, what did you think your mother would have done? Oh, she would have talked to my dad. OK. Even though he was out of town? <clears throat> yes. Did they talk every day, as yes. far as you knew? No, he always called home. Did your mother tend to talk to your father more than once a day? Yes. Was that true for as long as you All lived my in life. that family? And based on your experience in the family, did your mother tell your father everything that you guys were up to? Was it your experience that if something happened, if you had done something wrong or got into trouble, did your father know about it, even if he wasn't home when it happened? Yes. And did your mother over the years ever say anything about telling your father what was going on in the house when he wasn't there? She would always threaten to tell dad, and sometimes she'd do it right in front of me at the dinner table, or I could hear it in their bedroom, or when he got home. Otherwise, she would just threaten. If you do this, I'm going to tell your father or... With respect to things you actually did that upset her or, annoy her or annoyed her, did it appear from your father's reactions that she always told him? Yes. Did you feel that you could trust your mother to keep information from your father? No, definitely not. Did you not. ever feel that way? No. Now, at the end of the talk on Wednesday with your brother Lyle, did you feel apprehensive about Thursday? Yes. Were you sorry you had told him at that point? Were you glad? Were you not sure? I wasn't sorry I told him. I was uh, uneasy about it, but I was glad that I told him. He, he 
he was nice at that point to me, and uh, and he seemed optimistic, and I was hoping that things would be okay. Had your brother been nice to you for some time up to that point? Yes, we 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 had a good relationship up to that point. And how would you rate your relationship with the other family members? Who among the three of them, your father, your mother, or your brother, did you have the best relationship with? Lyle. And how long had that been true? Many years, uh, since I was 13, 12. And who among the other members of your family was nicest to you? Lyle. Turning to Thursday, were you home in the early part of the day, you think? Um, yes, I believe I was. I was playing tennis. And were you playing tennis with someone else? Yeah, my coach. Mark Heffernan? Yes. And where did you play tennis with him on Thursday? In the backyard. At home? Yes. And your father was expected home from the trip when? Late afternoon, uh, early evening. Like Did you six. have a specific time that you knew about? Yeah, I think it was about six. I think that was the time that I had in my head at the time. Sometime later in the day after you had your tennis lesson with Mr. Heffernan, uh, did you leave the house as your brother has testified? Yes. And did you come back real late? Yes. And why did you stay away? I, I just wanted not to be home when Lyle was having the conversation with Dad. And uh, so I stayed away and kept calling in to see if he had had the conversation. And he kept telling me it had been delayed, so I stayed away longer. The conversation was delayed or your father's return was delayed or what? My dad's return. And you learned that by calling Lyle? Yes. Now, your brother testified that there were three lines in the house, three different telephone lines, but they all rang, at least in the main house. Yes. In more than one location in the main house. Yes. And when you called in on Thursday, you called which line? Lyle's line. And did he pick it up each time? Uh, every time except for one. And on that one time, who picked it up? Mom. And what did you do when Mom picked it up? I hung up. Why did you hang up? I just didn't, I didn't want to talk to Mom. I didn't, um, I just didn't want to talk to her at the moment. And over the course of these calls, with you calling in, did the time for your father's return change at all? It got later and later and later, and I didn't understand why, but it just got later. 